Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. My name is Kelsey, and today we'll be, I'll be going over this week's advanced knowledge problem of the week. For the full problem and solution transcript, you can check the description of this video on our YouTube channel. Uh, okay, so the problem asks you to use the Euler-Lagrange equations to show that the shortest distance between two points, uh, I call them A and B, is a straight line with a constant slope. Uh, so this is a really cool problem, I think, because it's something that people tend to assume is true, but it's never really shown. And now we can finally show it. So I'm going to start uh, with this uh, little figure over here. And what I'm going to say is that this figure can be divided into little distance pieces. Delta x, delta y. These small changes in x and y added up all over makes this line a certain distance. So I'm going to use the distance formula. And I'm going to say, we're going to sum this up. Call this equal distance. And then I'm going to let delta x and delta y become infinitely small. And then we can turn this sum into an integral. If you've taken a Calc 2 class, you might have seen this before. I'm going to let it run from a to b. OK, and now we have. Uh, an integral, and now I'm going to pull out uh, dx squared from the square root, and what that's going to make that turn into. is something very cool. It looks like this. Well, as you see earlier, we've defined this y dot as uh, dy over dx, the total derivative. I'm going to rewrite this. And by doing so, now it becomes very clear that this f of x, y, and y dot is going to be equal to this. So I'm going to rewrite that. So now that we have this, we can now use that second part that I gave you, a uh, partial derivative of f uh, with respect to y, and also minus the total derivative with respect to dx of the partial derivative with respect to y dot should be equal to 0. But as we can see right here, uh, there is no dependence on y. So the partial derivative with, of f with respect to y is 0. And if you're willing to accept that this is equal to 0, then you have to also accept that this has to be equal to 0. Otherwise, subtracting this term from that is not going to equal 0. It has to equal 0. I'm going to write that down. Now this is the total derivative of something, this uh, partial of f with respect to y dot. If you have taken a Calc 1 class, you'll know that the total derivative of a constant is equal to 0. So that means we can arbitrarily name this as some constant. I'm going to call it c. And now I'm going to solve the partial derivative of this with respect to y. So don't forget to take the chain rule. Uh, Should be, these should both be squared. OK, so now we've solved for this. We can set that equal to this constant c. And I'm going to skip the algebra on this, but I am going to solve for y dot. And if you do that, you will get y dot is equal to c. c divided by the square root of 1 minus c squared. If you accept that c is a constant, then obviously this also has to be a constant. I'm going to arbitrarily name that m. OK, I'm going to plug in the definition that we wrote up there. y dot is equal to the total derivative of y with respect to x. It's equal to m. Separation of variables, you might have seen this before. I'm going to integrate both sides. And then you get 
y is equal to m x plus a constant, we're going to call it b. You might just might recognize that as the equation for a line with a constant slope. Uh, so we've just shown this really cool thing that people kind of accept is true, but now we know that it's true. We've definitely shown it. Uh, and this is the power of the Euler-Lagrange equations. Uh, you can use it to prove that the smallest uh, perimeter area shape is a circle. You can use it to prove why if you have water in a bucket, you spin it around, it makes a parabol parabolic shape. They're really, really cool, really powerful. Um, you can even do it in higher dimensions. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more problems of the week, advanced knowledge problems of the week, you can click up here. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click right here. If you want to visit us on centerofmath.org, click right there. And if you're on a mobile device, there should be an I in the top corner over there. And if you click it, uh, it should give you those same links. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope you learned something.